guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited about today's video. We are playing with the new NYX Cosmetics Machinist Collection, which I just literally looked up the pronunciation for because I was sure it was Machinist, and I don't know, I know that's ridiculous, but like maybe I was just over, the English major overthinking it, but it's Machinist. That's what it says on Google. <laughs> So anyway, um, I picked up the Grind palette. I honestly, I wasn't planning to get this at Ulta, and I saw this palette, and I was like, yes! I loved it so much. I don't know what it is about, like, this fall specifically, but I feel like brands are killing it with amazing new launches and products in terms of, like, colors in palettes. I'm just kind of obsessed and in love. So I really wanted to get this. So I picked up this. I picked up the um, Machina. Mach I see I was going to say it like that. Machinist Ignite Highlighting Duo. Also, am I crazy or was Samantha Ravindahl in this collection, like, ad? Was she? I mean, I think it was her. Okay. And then two of the lippies. I picked up the, oh, the Ignite one and the Grind one. Oh, so one for each palette, but basically. I didn't end up liking a lot of the lipsticks. Like, they were okay, but I knew I wouldn't wear them very much, so um, I didn't want to get them. But I'm kind of, like, obsessed with these colors. I already did some swatches on my arm here, on my arm, my hand. This color reminds me so much of Matte Club. So we're gonna use a little of these two, a little of this one, probably a little of this one or this one down here. Um, yeah, we're gonna do, I don't know, something cool. We'll figure out something cool. I already have my base done, so we're just gonna do eyes. I'm gonna scoot you guys in like I did in the last video because I think you guys seem to like that. And we will get started. Okay, I pulled my hair back because it's kind of driving me nuts today. I probably need to wash it, but I don't want to because I don't want to. <laughs> so, I'm ready to get something on my eyes. So I have all my brushes here, and I'm ready to go, and I'm thinking we're going to do a halo eye. But before we get into that, I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush. This guy. And I'm just going to, I have no idea how pigmented this is going to be. Oh, pretty pigmented, turns out. I already primed my eyes. I don't feel like I need to show that on camera. It's pretty boring. Left this through the crease a little. This is like a really pretty kind of mustardy brown. I don't know. I really like it, actually. As a transition color, it's cool, different. And it has a huge mirror. What? I love that. I might turn the exposure down so you guys can see the colors a little better. I feel like this worked pretty well the last time when I just like, because we're a little closer, I can turn that exposure down and it makes you able to see the colors a little better. I probably, it's still a little off, but it's really close. When I was editing it, I was like, you know what? If I turn it down by that much, it works pretty well. Sorry, volume off on the computer. Let's start to build up some color. This brown shade down here. And I that I did a pink tutorial and it like stained the brush. And I'm gonna I said we're gonna do a halo eye. Whoa! Look how pigmented that is. Holy bananas. So just gently kind of build up the color. You don't have to place too much. Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. I am so excited about this palette. Honestly. I feel like I've been so excited about a lot of palettes right now. Which kind of surprises me. Like brand brands are really doing it up for the fall right now. That blends out so freaking beautifully. Oh my gosh. All right, and then go in with a clean blending and just kind of right above that buffing it out. I scooted in a little bit because I wanted to rest my elbows on the table. I'm hoping that I'm still really in focus for you guys. I'm gonna take that same brown on just a smaller like pencil brush. We're gonna start creating this halo eye. So place this in the inner third and really just lightly. You don't want to do too much at one time. So I didn't pick up very much and then I'm really kind of like patting and pressing versus like totally fluffing, right? Because we're trying to leave the middle of the eye open and we want this to look really blended and blown out. So we just want to slowly build the color and while I'm here I'm actually just going to take this color through the crease a little more 
and connect it to that inner corner. See that? We're going to cut the middle of the eye with concealer, so it's okay if, you know, it's not like totally blank right now. We're going to fix it. All right, and then I'm just going to take a clean blending brush and like barely touching the eye, but kind of just dust over those edges. And then because I just want this to be a little bit darker, I can't help myself, I want to use this kind of, it's like a purpley navy. I wish it was a navy navy, but it's more of a purple lap brush. When I swatched this, it seemed like it might be a little patchy when I swatched it, so I want to be careful when I'm building up the color. And I'm going to just focus this in that outer, you know, corner, not taking it too far towards the middle. And then what I'm going to do is just build it up a little bit like that. Kind of take it up to the crease and then go in with our blending and just right away try to soften out the lines. Oh good, it's blending pretty well. I'm glad it's not show it's not showing up as very patchy at all. Oh, I really like the smokiness and depth of that. It looks really pretty. I am going to lightly go back in with that pencil brush and take a little bit of that dark kind of purpley navy color and just really gently and barely blend a little of that on the inner corner. Really give it that halo effect. Now I think it is time to cut the crease. I'm going to use my Born This Way um, multi-use sculpting concealer. And I'm going to take this on what looks like a really dirty pink brush, but I just did use this with the red and it stained. So I'm going to take this on that brush. I'm going to kind of dab it off on my hand so I don't get too much. And then I'm going to start in the center. And I'm just going to pat this up right in the center of my lid and I'm going to take my finger and I'm just going to lightly tap out the edges okay and then to the other side Okay, and then I really want to use like this color in the middle. So we're going to take that guy. It's like matte club. So now that the concealer is all dry, we're going to pat this right on top of the concealer. We may layer something else on top of it. I don't know. But I definitely, oh my goodness, I love this color so much. It reminds me so much of club from MAC, which is like one of my all-time favorite eyeshadows. It's got this really cool duochrome, blue, green, brown, shifty. Oh yeah, that is cool. Okay, um, I'm gonna actually look and see if I have a cool MAC pigment that would look good. I am thinking of like, Vanilla or let me see what's this one actually I'm gonna dab into it. It's like a Just a sparkly. Oh my goodness I'm just gonna take a clean finger to like dab it out So that I don't get too much But do you see how that just transforms that color makes it a little Brighter Very cool. I love that can you guys see how cool and shifty and amazing that is? Oh my gosh, I love it so much. That pigment just transformed it just a little bit. I actually probably could have used the Machinist highlighter, but I didn't. Oh, that pigment. Pigments, man. They just like fly everywhere. Okay. 
Then let's work on our lower lash line. You guys know I kind of do everything in reverse, basically. <laughs> Start in the outer third and then slowly work my way in, kind of just starting to smoke out that lower lash line. I'm using a bigger blending brush because I want it to be really smoky. Do you guys see the difference and like how cool that looks and just how much it comes together with the whole look? Smaller pencil brush and some of that purple. And putting this right up against the lash line in that outer third. Building it up slowly, blending it back, kind of flicking it back. Blending it into that upper lash line and then slowly blending it through. Yes. Look at the difference between those two eyes, right? Do a little bit of liner, Makeup Revolution Renaissance Flick Liner. Love this look. Well, this wing kind of got a little messed up, so it ended up being a little bigger than I originally planned. Um, gonna add some L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara and my eye is watering on this side for literally no reason. So I feel like for this look, I wanna do a contour, so I'm gonna take my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, this color here on just like an angled brush and just kind of work this in the hollows. Just building up color gently, not like going to too hard. Okay, and then for bronzer, I'm going to go into my Marc Jacobs bronzer. It's not too warm and it's not too cool, so I think it's perfect for this look because I think a bronzer that's too warm will look a little, I don't know, just not right with the lips that we're going to do and all that jazz. For blush, I'm going to go into that right here. Just something like kind of neutral. And then, as I always do, veiling it just a little. And then I got the Machinist highlighters. So that's what they look like. Ooh, yeah, this would have worked really well on the eyes. Just tap a little over. It kind of is exactly like the pigment. We're going to take that one because the other one is not going to work for my skin tone at all. love this highlighter trick. Can you see just how like glowy? I'm wondering, it's hard, I feel like it's hard for you guys to see the highlight. I don't know why. Every time I edit, I'm like, you, that highlight did not get, did not stand out enough, even though it did, it, it does off camera. There's just something about it on camera. I'm going to add a little more because more is more. Oh yeah, that is blinding. But not like, it's not like supernova blinding. It's just like really glowy and kind of amazing. I feel like a, it's like a robot look, machinist. I mean, it makes sense, right? It's very cool. I like it a lot. Okay. Now for lips, we've got these two colors and maybe we should just try them both on. So let's start with the lighter one. This is in Ignite. And these have like a strange applicator kind of strange but we're gonna just go with it see what happens this is a lacquer so it's not let me see it says glossy nude it's a glossy nude yeah it's like a lacquer it's not like matte wow that is a cool color it goes so well with this look um really cool oh my gosh it goes so well with this look like the eyes match the lips perfectly right now. I kind of can't get over it. Um, and they're kind of like minty. They're really comfortable. 
I love this color actually. Uh, let's try on the darker one. They're really like nice and refreshing and minty, but they're not like plumping minty. It's like nice. Oh yeah. Okay, so that one got a little bit messy. I still really love it. If I was wearing this for a really long time, I would definitely put a lip liner on. And I would say these are like really fun for something like Halloween and not just the color, I mean the formula. So my thing with this formula is I think this will literally get everywhere um, because it's really glossy, it's not matte, and it's just, I feel like it's just gonna spread, it's gonna end up like on my teeth. Um, but I think it's really cool, really cool formula and um, for the darker colors, they would just make me nervous that, like, I'd have it smeared everywhere and wouldn't know. Okay, my loves, this is the finished look. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I want to know what you think about this collection. If you like the palette that I picked up, I think there are three total, and there are, like, three collections within the Machinist collection. So there's the Grind collection, there's the Ignite collection, and then there's one more that I'm not sure, and they each have, like, a highlighter, a lipstick, an eye palette, and a liquid lip. I didn't get any of the metallic lipsticks. Really different. Overall, the shadows performed so beautifully. I will definitely be reaching for this palette again. I can't wait to create more looks with it. And let me know if you want me to create another look with it. I love you guys so much. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you like seeing tutorials with some new stuff that's out at the drugstore. And I will see you guys on my next video. Mwah!